happy people I'm back with another video and today I'm actually going to bring you all a little haul that I did um, I was shopping around on Amazon um, after I did this dip powder set I was so excited at how it turned out that I wanted to kind of expand my dip powder collection I actually have a lot of vibrant bright colors in my dip powder collection but not like a lot, a lot of nudes and so um, I was shopping around and I found out that Beatles had a 12 color set for $9.99 so I thought that was a really good deal because the set that I purchased it's actually from GH dip and I paid like 32 or 35 dollars for 12 colors and so nine bucks for that I thought was a steal so um this particular set I did use a product from Beatles it was their uh base um gel and their base I'm sorry their base gel and their gel top coat and I like how this turned out this has been on my hands for about 13, about 10 days now this has been on my hands for about 10 days and it's going strong I don't have any lifting or anything like that so yeah this is what it's looking like after 10 days and I'm really happy with that so I thought it might be fitting to do Beatles gel with Beatles dip and see how that works out so although the box says Beatles gel polish there actually is dips inside of here so um, yeah I got the 12 colored nudes for this and I just kind of want to open it up here on camera with you all the packaging on this is really, really cute. Look at that gold detailing. And it just says uh, Beatles uh, Gel Polish Dip Powder Nail Kit. So let's show you all what this is looking like here. Okay. So after you open the box, you can see on both sides it has six colors. So that's the first six colors and that's the second six colors. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I like the detail on the box that says, hey there gorgeous, um, and it's in the gold lettering. I think that's a really cute little touch that they have on their packaging. And let's go ahead and turn it over and take it out. So another thing to mention too is that on the box it does show the instructions of how to properly apply the dip powder. Um, I am more so of someone who uses the um gel method with dip powder so that really doesn't apply to me but that's what the other side of the box looks like and let's see here i'm gonna start with these colors here and i'm gonna just take all of these out and show you what they are looking like so i'm actually happy to see that um these have um, the colors on the top of them. I saw a couple of reviews of the dip powders where they didn't have any numbers or anything on it. So, um, yeah. And it looks like you get a pretty decent size. Um, with this one is 0.53 ounces, which is about 15 grams. Um, I do have some GH dip powders, and I believe they are point... Let me actually... Oops, let me grab one and show you all what it is. Okay, so this is the GH dip powder that I have, and the grams on this one is 0 0.6 I'm sorry 0 0.6 ounces which is 17 grams well, if you all can see that this is actually the color I have on my hands too but it's 0 0.6 grams and this one is 0 0.53 grams okay so actually the GH dip powder one is more but honestly the dip the beetles look bigger so I'm not really sure how they did that but yeah it's a decent size for what you get um like I said I paid ten dollars for this so each dip powder came out to a dollar and some change which is really really affordable and then I want to compare it to my double dip powder and double dip their powders are like really really big or at least this is the size that I got from them they sent this to me in PR so this is double dip and this is their two ounce jar so you can see that's a pretty big difference there but honestly these jars are going to last a really long time so i thought it was a pretty good price for 12 powders so what i'm going to do is just kind of go through and open each powder here with you on camera and just give you what it looks like in the container and then after that i will um do some swatches for you all so this is the color z25 and it looks like they all come nicely sealed which is always a plus and that is what this color looks like I don't know if you all can really tell but that's what it looks like here next color I have here is Z26 everything is nicely sealed 
This looks like a peachy nude color. Okay. Next color here is Z27. Looks like a slightly deeper peachy nude. Okay. Next color is Z28. They all kind of look the same here in the jars. So I'm hoping that when I do the swatches, I can see the difference in the color. And I will say too, like the powder, it does feel very fine to the touch. Like it feels very smooth. Um, let me see. Yeah, it feels very smooth. Um, can't say that it's smoother than the GH dip powders um, or the double dip, but it's definitely pretty smooth. Next here I have Z29. That's what this looks like. And the bottle here, okay. Next I have Z30. Ooh, this looks like a deep kind of brown nude. That looks really pretty. And this kit did come with a couple of glitter powders, which I was pretty excited about. I don't actually own any glitter powders to date that are actually dip powders. Um, but I did purchase some glitters from my local Dollar Tree, just like some craft glitters, um, so that um, I could kind of make my own glitters. But um, I decided to go ahead and get this kit because, like I said, it seemed like it was pretty affordable. And, um, you know, these are meant for dipping. So, in the event that I get like dipping liquids and things like that, if I decided to try that method again, I would have the actual dip powders for that. Um, so yeah. Oh, the other thing I meant to mention too is that it did come with the instructions. Again, I'm not too big on the instructions because um, I just do the gel method when I do dips. So I'm I'm gonna be really excited to do the uh, gel method with the actual Beatles brand dip with their um, you know uh, gel polish. So yeah. Ooh, look at that one. Nice, beautiful, deep brown here. Deep brown nude. That's really pretty. Next is like, looks like another brown nude, but a little bit deeper. Mm, look at that. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to be interested to see how these look like after they're swatched. Next one here is Z33. Kind of like a deeper peachy nude. And then here are the three glitter colors, which I'm super excited about here. This one is Z34. Look at that. So I think this is more so what it's gonna look like. A nice little vibrant pink uh, peach, I'm sorry, pink glitter. That looks like here. And then we have a Z35, which I think is more like a purpley silver glitter. No, more like a silver glitter with hints of purple to it. That's what that looks like. And then the last one here is, looks like it's a silver iridescent glitter and it's Z36. Oops, okay. And then that's what that looks like. I think I popped the seal on that one earlier. So yeah, I am gonna go through and um, swatch all of these for you. I do have a couple of swatch sticks here, so I'm gonna swatch them for you, and then I'll just have some music playing in the background while I show you all the swatch stick next to the actual color.
these are all of the colors swatched out here. Um, I think this is a very, very beautiful collection. The name of this collection is called Nude Pink, and I think it has a really nice selection of some great nude colors. Um, so yeah, if you all are in the market for some nude dip powders, um, definitely check out this set. Again, it was only $9.99 when I picked it up. I actually just looked at the website and it's actually listed for $6.99 right now. So you all to get an even better deal than I got. Um, so yeah, if you all are looking at checking out the Beatles dip powders, um, I, I would recommend them just based off the swatches at this point. Um, I do want to do an in-depth video, um, which I'll probably be posting next week, um, showing you all how I do a dip set um, with some of these powders, um, just so that I can know um, how the wear is on these because I want them to last just as long as um, my other dip set that I did, which is these current nails here. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. On Thursdays in particular, I upload nail videos. Um, I'm thinking about starting a series on my channel uh, called, um, what is it, Nail Therapy Thursdays. Um, doing my nails have been kind of like a form of therapy for me recently. And so I'm thinking about uh, starting that series on my channel. Um, but yeah, on Thursdays, I'll probably be uploading my nail videos. So if you all want to check those out, uh, come back next week, same time. I'll be here. And as always, leave me some love in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. Hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.